Doctrines of the Atheists about Surah Fatiha, in Surah Fatiha refuge is sought from Satan and Allah is praised. If it is the word of Allah then to whom did Allah pray to be saved from Satan and who did he ask for help praising himself? Azubillah, why did Bismillah come? What is prayer and manners, Surah Al-Fatiha is the first and most important part of the Quran, the word of Allah. This Surah is a summary of the entire Quran. It is the first to be revealed as a complete Surah and is the first of the Quran to be assigned its place. That is why it is named Surah Al-Fatiha, the opening Surah. Dot, the Surah is the core of the Quran, the introduction to the Quran and a collection of seven verses to be recited in each rak'ah of the prayer called as sab o Mashani, in Sahih Hadith and described in the Holy Quran. As Allah Almighty says, we have given you seven reciting verses and the great Quran, Hijr 15 of 87. Dot, subject, the main theme of Surah Fatiha is Dua or Prayer. That is why one of the names of this surah is Shurita Dua. The Messenger of Allah, may Allah bless him and grant him peace, said, the best daikr is la ilaha illallah and the best supplication is alhamdulillah or surah fatiha. This means that if one wants to benefit from the Quran, he must pray to Allah with that intention. Have to do the main supplication described in this surah is verse 3, you show us the straight path. In fact, the entire Quran is a detailed answer to that prayer, prayer and manners. In this surah, the manners of supplication are taught. In the first verse to the third verse, praise is given to Allah, the great creator, to whom the supplication is to be made. Then in the fourth verse full obedience to him is shown and the assurance of seeking help from him alone is given. Then in the fifth verse, the guidance of the mistakeem is sought after the main du'ar content. The sixth and seventh verses are basically the explanation of the fifth verse. At the end of this prayer, the Messenger of Allah, may Allah bless him and grant him peace, asked us to ask Allah to accept the du'a by saying Amen. In essence, the du'a is offered after first offering praise and obeisance. Similarly, it is a sunnat way of supplication to make du'a after offering praise to Allah and salutations upon the Messenger of Allah, may Allah bless him and grant him peace, outside of Salat, Surah Al-Fatiha is essentially a special prayer that Allah Ta'ala taught to mankind. The rest of the Quran is his answer to this, containing a full and detailed description of the simple and right way of life for mankind, one of the best aids in opening the way to a correct understanding of Surah Al-Fatiha is a pure hadith narrated by Abu Huraira radiallahu anhu compiled in Sahih Muslim. He said, I heard the Messenger of Allah, peace and blessings be upon him, say dash, Allah Ta'ala says. I have divided the Salat, Surah Al-Fatiha, between me and my servants half and half. And whatever my servant asks for, he will be given it. When the slave says, all praise is due to Allah Rabul Alamin, Surah Al-Fatiha, verse, 2, Allah Ta'ala then said, My servant praised me, when the slave says, Most merciful, most merciful, Surah Al-Fatiha, verse, 3, then Allah said, My servant praised me, when the servant says, Owner of the day of reward, Surah Al-Fatiha, verse, 4, then Allah said, My servant described my dignity, when the slave says, it is you that we worship and you that we seek help from. Surah Al-Fatiha, verse 5, then Allah says, it is divided between me and my slave and for the slave is whatever he wants, then when the slave says, show us the straight path. The path of those whom you have favored, not the path of those who are misguided and misguided, Surah Al-Fatiha, verses 6 to 7, then Allah Ta'ala said, these are for my servant and for what my servant wants. Sahih Muslim, the question is why Azubilla, Bismillah came here, the first thing is, Ajubilla. Bismillah are not part of this surah but are prescribed to be recited before all surahs, second, Azubilla, Bismillah has great importance, I seek refuge with Allah from the repulsed Satan, it means, I seek refuge in Allah, I seek safety in his court from the evil of this human enemy, the banished Satan, that he may not harm me religiously or worldly that he may not prevent me from doing what I am commanded to do, and may he not incite me to what is forbidden. Because when the servant is desirous of prayer, recitation of the Quran or any other good deed, this devil is active to mislead him. 
And that is because there is no way for you to get rid of Satan without seeking refuge in Allah. Allah Ta'ala says, He, Satan, and his company see you in a way that you do not see them. Surah Al-Iraf, verse 27, So when you seek refuge with Allah from Shaitan and cling to him, it will become a major reason for your sincere presence or concentration in Salat. Therefore, you will understand the meaning of this sentence well and not be satisfied with just lip service like most people, Tafsir of Bismillah, Bismillah, in the name of Allah, means, I am engaged in this work, recitation, supplication or anything else, in the name of Allah, not because of my strength, but with the help of Allah. His beneficence and seeking the blessings of the great name. This, Basmala, should be recited at the beginning of every religious and worldly work. So when you think that your reading is only starting with the help of Allah and not relying on your own strength, then it will be the main helper in removing the obstacles in the way of the presence of your heart and all the benefits, so it is clear that saying and praying Ajabila, Bismillah in Surah Fatiha is very logical and reasonable. Only a person with minimal knowledge can understand it, but the atheists who are walking with knowledge on their knees are unable to understand it, may Allah protect us from the misinterpretation of atheists. Amin.